So every couple of years, whether I need them or not, about every three years, whether I need them or not, I buy bees from somewhere else, packages of bees. Sometimes I get nukes. I actually prefer to get nukes. Sometimes I'll buy just packages. I got plenty of drawn out extra comb. But um, I do that to uh, improve the genetics of my bee yard. And that's kind of why I have two packages of bees sitting up here. Um, I actually ordered two carnies from Man Lake Bees. Went to go pick them up. I literally got the last package of carnies and they were out. So they gave me a Saskatraz, which I've never actually had here. I've tried Russians um, and several other types, just not Saskatraz. Saskatraz is supposed to have some varroa resistance. Time will tell if that is true or not. Uh, carnies are usually just very well tempered. And uh, all of the, most of the bees I have in my apiary now are VSH. Anyway, so this is the situation. You go to pick up a package of bees and let's say the weather's absolutely horrible. It's pouring down rain. It's super cold. Or it's even nighttime by the time you get home. So what do you do? The bees are going to be fine if, as long as you take a little bit of precaution. The precaution is you need to kind of help them regulate the temperature somewhere between 70 and 90 degrees. It doesn't have to be like as warm as a normal hive because there's no brood in there. And the second thing you need to do, even though they generally have some sort of feed inside of the package, you also need to spray the outer walls of the container, the package of bees, with sugar water. And that's used generally with like a 1-1 mixture of sugar water. I've got some here. And let me show you how that's done. You can tell I got a towel over the top of it. The towel covers three sides almost. You can tell there's a gap between the packages, but it covers on this side. It covers mostly on this side and it covers mostly in the back. I've got one end open for some airflow. And basically what I do, I raise the sides up, take my sprayer, hopefully you can see that. We give them just a couple squirts, a couple squirts, a couple squirts. I usually do on the exposed sides. Now you'll want to feed them two or three times throughout the day, maybe up to four times throughout the day, and do that until you can get them in their hives. So I've got hives ready to go, but it's actually about 8.30 at night, so it's already dark, and the temperature dropped today. So the highs today were like low 50s on the warm parts, and it's even colder now, it's down in the 40s, so it'd be really bad for me to put the bees in the hive today tonight so I'll just wait and do it in the morning spray the bees down a little bit so they got a little bit of food to eat to help them generate heat and try to insulate the top of the hive to help them retain some of that heat so they don't have to work so hard that's pretty much all you have to do if you have a package of bees and you can't get them in the hive the day you get the packages follow those steps get them in the hive as soon as you can but it's not necessarily like critical that you do it the same day you get the bees you could go two or three four days this way and I may actually have to go um, the high smar again or in the low 50s that's okay to install a package of bees as long as it's not like below freezing <laughs> um, they're not gonna be too happy about it but they'll be just fine uh, make sure they got sugar water on the hive 
once you get the package in there they'll be just fine no matter how cold it gets as long as they got something they can use to eat and generate heat until the weather warms up so anyway so for the next two or three days it's supposed to be really wet rainy and cold we went from 80 degrees on wednesday thursday and friday and saturday gradually got colder 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 we're going to get even colder tomorrow and the high for monday is also cold so tuesday is the ideal day but i don't know if i'm going to stretch it out i may go ahead and put the bees uh in the hives on sunday which is tomorrow just have to wait and see what the weather's like Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.